Okay, so this is one of the new laser uh, fiberglass boards. It's uh, missing its tip. Seems the uh, fiberglass cloth didn't go all the way to the tip, so it's very easy to knock the very end of it off. Not much damage, so I'm going to add a little more. No! Okay, so you heard the guy that owns the blade. He said no, so we'll just fix what's here. By the way, this repair works uh, just the same way on the older foam blades as well. Okay, so we're just grinding away on both sides for a uh, place for the fiberglass uh, cloth to land, have a little uh, grip area, and this is what it looks like here. A woodworker would call this a scarf joint. Time for some refreshment. Just a matter of cutting up a bunch of little fiberglass triangles now. I'm going to be using epoxy resin here for this repair. Uh, it has a 20% better bond strength to the cured uh, uh, polyester resin that's already on the blade. Always use gloves with uh, with epoxy because you'll get sensitized to the resin otherwise. The proportions on mixing the epoxy are uh, very critical. The West System pumps make this a lot easier. I like to paint the epoxy on the surface and then put the dry laminates into it. If you dip your fiberglass cloth in the resin first, you'll get way too much resin and you'll get a lot of resin between the layers and that's very weak. I'm just using a disposable acid brush to work the resin up between the layers. Just add a little bit as needed, but don't use too much resin. I'm going to flip it over now and do both. Uh, do the other side. It's always best to do everything in one layup if you can, uh, less bonding between dried layers. Always good to have a little acetone around, clean up the spills. Always keep a little beer around too. Just run the fiberglass over, don't worry about the shape too much, just let it cure. While it's curing, I found a little picture on the internet that I sent to the owner of this blade, told him how the progress is coming along. Now I rough trimmed this thing with a hacksaw, unfortunately the camera battery <coughs> ran out, so I didn't catch that. But uh, we're going to shape it a little more with an, an orbital sander and 80 grit sandpaper. Now I'm going to shape with some hand sanding, a little final shaping, uh, half a sheet of uh, 220 grit sandpaper folded in thirds. That seam you see in the gel coat, uh, that line down the bottom of the blade and it goes all around, that's actually the way the original is molded. And that sound in the background is either my stomach or the washing machine, I can't remember which.
Okay, this is cured for a week now, and I'm going to wipe it down with acetone. Uh, that's because I'm going to switch now to a polyester gel coat. Before you scream bloody murder, you can put polyester over a, an epoxy repair just as long as it's cured for a week and you've cleaned it all down well. This is going to wind up with a total of three coats of white gel coat. Now we just got to let it cure overnight. Back to the 220 grit. This time I'm going to make a sanding block by wrapping it around a small piece of wood. Now on to wet sanding. I'm doing this by hand, starting with 320 grit sandpaper, going to 600, and then finally finishing up with 1500. The 1500 hardly makes any noise, doesn't feel like it's cutting, but it's definitely taking all the deep scratches out. Final stage is buffing. Little fiberglass rubbing compound, followed up with a random or orbit buffer. And there it is, all polished out and shiny and stronger than ever.